Okay, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, just a very quick introduction to the G1 on uh, pedal uh, for use with theremin. Uh, <clears throat> the unit comes with 100 presets, um, and then you can make your own <clears throat> what are called preset patches. <clears throat> it comes with about 75 effects, which can be combined. Each of you can combine five effects into into one patch um, and each effect has a bunch of controls so really there, there's a huge amount of fussing that you could do it comes with a hundred presets so um, I'm just going to be showing off some of the presets <clears throat> I have done one of my own uh, one of my own patch with with success uh, you should you can in theory edit them on your uh, on the G1 on itself, but it's much, much, much easier to edit them on a computer. And you just plug the G1 on into the computer, there's an, and there's an app uh, that lets you edit the patches. So this is a patch A. So the names of the patches are A0 through J9. So that gives you 100. Uh, you could logically group them into like fun ones are, are the A set, or pretty ones are the A set. Fun ones are the B set, weird ones are the J set. And that's actually kind of where the, the direction I'm going in. So this is A0. This is, this is uh, all off. Uh, and so it sounds like this. This sounds just, this is just my ether wave. So you can see that sounds just, just like that. This is the patch that I usually play with. Um, it's, it's, it's just got a little bit of reverb. I hope you can hear the little bit of echo there. That makes it pretty. So I made a bunch of notes. I didn't memorize these. I made a bunch of notes. Um, uh, I made a note that A8 is beautiful, so let's take a look at, let's see what A8 sounds like. Uh, you hear some uh, vibration there, that's because of my speaker and the and the G1 on sitting on top of the speaker, sorry about that. It, it, there actually is no, no vibration there. See, there's a lot, a lot of echo there. That's kind of pretty. Um, B1 and B3 have kind of a pretty chorus. So here's B1. Okay. That's B1. Here's B3. Oh, B3's got a lot of echo. Listen to this. That's kind of pretty. You can imagine a you can imagine a use for that. Uh B8, I made a note that might be useful, but I don't remember what it is. Let's hear it. Okay, so just a little bit of uh, kind of what I would call a room effect. A little bit, no echo there at all. Uh, I made a note that C1 might be useful. And C3. And 5. So all of those have a little bit of a, a little bit of an echo on them. Uh, I made a note that if I was ever playing smoke on the water, I would want A4. So let's uh, take a what happened is what I did was I went through all of these and made notes on every single one of the hundred uh, patches. So you can see we 
get a really great staccato effect there. That's kind of cool. Uh, I made a note that D2 was kind of fun. Let's skip up to D2. Uh, you can see if I lean on the pedal, uh, it goes quickly. Oh yes, D2 has kind of a voice sound, right? So there's a bunch of different kind of voice sounds. Uh, E5 has a voice sound. Let's go listen to that. Okay, I wouldn't consider that to be a really pretty sound. Uh, now, uh, along the staccato lines, I made a note that A4 is uh, kind of extreme staccato and could be used for something. Let's uh, skip down to that. But what I was thinking was I might use whatever uh, effects that staccato is in another, I might build my own effect using that staccato effect. Cause that's that's kind of a handy, uh, a handy sound to have. Uh, I made a sound. I made a note that H9 was kind of pretty. Let's skip down to H9. In fact, I said it was beautiful. Let's hear it. Fasten your seatbelt. Uh, here's a uh, <laughs> fasten your seatbelt. Uh, you can see that that might be a fun thing for uh, for some kind of weird exercise. Uh, I made a note that H, H4 kind of sounded spacey. Uh, oh yeah, it definitely does. I'm just going to play, I'm going to play a single note. That was it. I didn't do. Uh, that was uh, that was good. Just giving a single note with the amplitude bar. That was kind of pretty. Uh, <clears throat> I made note that H two was extreme chorus. Okay, you get the kind of idea. Uh, I made a note that D2 had a crisp echo, so let's go listen to this crisp echo. Down to D2. Okay, so I don't really like that. Uh, there's another nice chorus on C9. I made a note about a few that are in kind of the crazy zone. So let, let's go listen to A9, which I've marked as crazy. Okay, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay, one more time, we're gonna play one note, just one note. Yeah, you wouldn't really want that on all the time, um, but uh, it's kind of cool. I made note that C2 had a savage echo. Not any clue what I meant by that. Okay, one more time. I'm just going to play one note. Uh, maybe. Uh, now I'm going to try tune. 
kind of pretty. Um, I made a note that J3 had a Leslie speaker, so let's, uh, I think that's going to be the last one. Uh, J3, Leslie speaker. Now, on a theremin, we really don't need a Leslie speaker, but I made a note anyway. Come on, J3. There it is. Oh, well, that's kind of pretty. That's it. So that's just a, a half dozen of the hundred built-ins. A lot of them are useless. A lot of them are built for uh, electric guitar and are not interesting sounds on the theremin at all. But you can see that uh, just what you get, even what you, even what you get with those, is worth the forty or fifty bucks you're going to play. Uh, you're going to pay for the G1 on. Okay, over and out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a learning experience. Bye bye.